What's up guys? So I got some exciting news, also some failures on my part, and also some advice for you if you're looking at getting started in FPV drones or drones in general. So first off, I bought another drone. Yes, another one. This is a Mobula 7. This is the ELRS version. It's a completely different radio system, and I thought when I ordered my Radio Master Zoro that it was going to be the proper transmitter for this particular drone. So let's talk a little more about the drone, and then we'll get into my failure for the week. And this is a very tiny drone you can see comparative to my hand. This is great for flying in your house. It's got prop guards, the whole nine yards. They're actually kind of flexible prop guards, if you will. This is powered by a 1S battery. And I happened to pick up some of these 520 milliamp hour batteries. Now on the drone, now when these are on the drone, it is quite a large battery. And these are not the largest battery I could put on this drone. Um, a lot of reviewers were saying that if you put this size battery on, it kind of slows the drone down. Well, I'm okay with that because I'm still a beginner. And if this is a little sluggish and less reactive, that's actually a positive for me. Plus I get a little more flight time out of the slightly bigger battery. So it's a win-win-win in my opinion. I plugged this into Betaflight and kind of looked at some of the settings. You can actually bind it through Betaflight. You just click on the bind button and you have everything set up properly. It will bind and then you're good to go and you can fly. So what ended up happening was I ordered the wrong version of the Radio Master Zorro. I ordered the 4-in-1 and not the ELRS compatible one. So what did that do? It wastes about eight hours of my time and I have to mail it back and order the proper ELRS version of the Zorro. One thing I'm finding is that I need to do a little more research before I buy things. So needless to say, I now know how to update any transmitter using those configurators. And I am really proficient at it now because I had to do it so many times to try and get that transmitter to work. I have not flown this drone yet and that's kind of my goal. I am super excited to fly this thing. And I've been flying on the simulator off and on, but it's just not the same. Like having the actual drone flying and seeing what it's doing through the goggles and everything is going to be really cool comparative to the simulators where you're staring at a screen. When the Radio Master Zorro gets here with the ELRS system, the proper one hopefully this time, then I will bind it up with that Mobula 7 and I will do some flying. Now my house is really small and it's not really that grand and it probably suck at flying, let's be honest. So you're probably not going to see much footage of that right now. However, once I get better with it, I will maybe take it outside or a small park or something like that um, where I'm allowed to fly. Make sure you follow your local regulations. So if you're looking into drones, don't be discouraged. Just keep plugging away. If you have one and you got discouraged, just keep trying. There's always a way to adjust it. There's always a way to do stuff with it. Look out there. There's tons of resources on the internet right now. So don't give up. I'm not going to give up yet. Probably for a while. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.